Hello everyone, it's Sonia. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I've got a small colouring book haul for you. Just four books. Um, and they're very cutesy books. So if you're not into sort of cute, cartoony type books, um, you might not be interested in this video. Um, but I've come on to show you what I've got. Now, <clears throat> the first one I got was... Uh, Chibi Dragons. Now this was a blind buy um, off of Amazon and this is the cover here and I'll show a cover and it's the back images here that um, that got me. Um, this is all I saw and I thought they looked really cute um, so I went ahead and bought it and it's by Ben Susie um, which isn't an actual artist, I don't think. It says it's the home of many creatively independent artists. Um, so, yeah, I guess it's like a, a some sort of company or maybe not even a company, maybe just some people that have got together and produced some colouring books. Um, this is the IBSN, if you're interested. Okay, and we'll get to it. So, <clears throat> you've got the This Belongs To page, which is really, really cute. Uh, with the black background. So cute. And then you get to the main images. Now, all these uh, pictures are got the black background and they're single-sided. And this is the first image. Now, I really like, I've had a little flip through and I really like the pictures in this. Um, however, the only thing that I don't like in this book is that I feel like the background is more greyish white rather than pure crisp white. And the images are not quite crisp. They're just, they're a little pixelated still. So I almost get the feeling like some of these might have been coloured images, which they've turned into line art. Um, so I'm really hoping that they're not stolen um, images from an artist. Um... But in saying that, I know that a lot of people can get uh, free artwork on the internet that is free for people to use. So, you know, I really don't know. Um, but I just feel like the images just needed to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, yeah, it just turned up the pixels slightly. And um, yeah, the, the backgrounds are just not pure white. Um, but if that doesn't worry you, if you're not too fussy, they are incredibly cute dragons. Um, and I think once they're coloured, like I get in there with the colouring, I'm not, you're not even going to notice that they were slightly pixelated. Um, that's just, you know, it's, you're not even going to be able to tell anymore. The other thing that they do have is this little shadow along the side and bottom um, border which I'm not quite fond of either. I don't know why they've done that. It's just a, a choice they've made, I suppose. Um, but yeah, if I did give them any advice, I would say to just turn up the pixels a little bit to make the images a little bit clearer and yeah, make sure that the paper is crisp white. Um, I don't know if it's um, like, it's not just the picture itself, but it's the whole the whole page that is off white. So whether it's a printing error or I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, I really do like this book. Definitely will be coloring in it. I mean, how cute is that? A little witch dragon <laughs> with her cauldron and her pumpkins. So cute for Halloween. We've got a night dragon, of course. We've 
got more of a Chinese dragon, but still, how cute. Look at the face. <laughs> and that's why I bought it, just because these dragons are just so damn cute. And I could see me colouring in every single one of these. It's not a really thick book. I think I counted 19 dragons in here. So it's definitely a book that you could finish within a couple of months. So cute. Mama and baby dragon. Another witchy dragon. <laughs> this dragon's going to stomp on this poor little critter down here just for fun. <laughs> one that's just hatching. Again, this one's very pixelated. And yeah, you can almost see like some shadowing in there. So that's what makes me think that maybe it was a coloured image that they've taken from the internet and turned into line art and they just needed to clean up the white a little bit. So um, when I give this book feedback on Amazon, that's what I will be um, telling them and hopefully they will fix that. But if you know, if you're seeing these images and you think that they are from an artist that you know who does a colouring book, please let me know because, you know, I really don't want stolen images <clears throat> from other artists. That's just not on. So, but I really did like that. It was a blind buy, like I said, that's Chibi Dragons and it was off of Amazon and I it was quite cheap. So that's why I got it. And yeah, I'll definitely be colouring this one. The next one I got was Disney Favourites Ultimate Colouring Book Halloween. <laughs> so I had to get this one. Again, this is by Scholastic, which is an Australian book brand. Um, you probably could get them from the Scholastic site on the internet. Uh, maybe Amazon, I'm not quite sure, but I know that I did have a Scooby-Doo one that um, people saw on my channel from America and they did manage to purchase a copy of that, although you do pay a bit of um, shipping for them. But they are cheap books. I think this was like four Australian dollars, four or six Australian dollars. So, um, yeah, if you're paying shipping to America, yes, you'll pay a bit, but the book itself is really cheap. So it all sort of works out in the end, doesn't it? <laughs> So this one is so cute. The paper is lovely. It is um, double-sided. Um, so you're going to have to prep your pages um, with something, uh, which is what I always do. I either use a, a spray, um, which comes in a can, and uh, I'm trying to think what it's called. It's, a, a, it's called Workable... Um, fixative spray and um, I spray that on first or you can use the golden brand of satin glazing gel as well I find that comes a little bit gritty not gritty but you can kind of feel that one when you're using markers afterwards you can feel that it's on whereas the spray that I use the workable fixable um, spray um, you cannot feel it at all it's kind of like putting hairspray or something on first which you could probably I don't know if that would work maybe um, I think it's just something to put a layer over the paper to you know to kind of stop the markers bleeding through so I've never tried hairspray first I've done hairspray afterwards and that can make markers bleed so I'm not sure about that one <laughs> But anyway, this is so cute, this book. Getting back to this and the flip through. This has either got characters dressed in Halloween costumes, such as these, which of course is Sully and Mike and Woody, um, or they've just got villains or, you know, mischief characters. <laughs> but you've got um, Ikaboo <laughs> with Mickey Mouse, which is so cute. Uh, you got Pluto, Trick or Treat. I think this is Forky. Um, not sure what his costume is. 
But yeah, we've got the villains like Cruella. I can't remember this dude's name, but I think he's from Aladdin, is he? And um, this one here, Buzz Lightyear. I'm not sure. I think he has a Dracula, like a vampire cape on, which is kind of cute. Again, we have some villains. Really love how they're nice big drawings here. This is uh, The Witch, of course, Just One Bite. And I did a very similar picture. I coloured a very similar picture to this um, last month in a different book. Then we have all the Disney characters here. So cute saying, oh my, and you can see they're really frightened. That would be so cute for Halloween. And then we get a couple of pages like this. Sully being scary. So, yeah, Tazzy Devil, I think this one is. It's a shame that it goes right into the crease of the book. I think I'd have to really break the spine in this to be able to colour in there. Um, so I don't really like these double where the picture's right in the middle. It just makes it hard to colour. But everything else in here is just really cute. Um, and I'll definitely be colouring in this um, for Halloween or whenever. <laughs> um, so yeah, you've got your <clears throat> Disney Pixar and you know your, your normal disney as well i really love these hyenas you don't see these guys in many books you do have a lot of the queen and cruella but i really love these look buzz has got his <laughs> buzz has got his little um eyeballs on here and mike's in his pumpkin and this one's really cute as well And the light up a little bit and then this is the last page nice easy page but yeah that one there is by scholastic there is the isbn number there if you would like that and that was disney favorites ultimate coloring book halloween then I bought two more blind buys. Now this one here is Sesame Street Coloring Book. <laughs> now this is one of those books on Amazon you get where um, we've all seen them before. Um, someone goes on Amazon, they get all the pictures from the internet and then they make it into a book. Um, there's no author written on here because they haven't they haven't drawn the pictures themselves but these are the pictures that are inside this book which i thought looked really cute and this is the isbn number if you want that and i mean sesame street is just so cute who doesn't like the cookie monster elmo i cannot remember this guy's name I know it starts with a G, but I just can't remember his name. Um, but it's got Bert and Ernie, and it's got Big Bird. And it's just so darn cute. I mean, look at that. Too. I mean, you could colour that for Valentine's Day. There's a lot of Elmo. If you love Elmo, there's a lot of Elmo in here. Um, a lot of Bert and Ernie. Cookie Monster, and again, these are taken all off the internet, but I really don't mind because, okay, here's my reasoning. Basically, I could get all of these pictures if I looked up free children's colouring pages on the internet, I could probably find on thousands of sites these images all for free. So basically I'm paying for this person who has put them all into one book for me and made a beautiful cover 
and I don't have to go print them all out myself and I don't have to make my own cover and bind them and all of that. So basically that's what I'm paying this person for. And I said that I don't like people stealing artist um, images. And when I say that, I mean an artist as a colouring book artist or uh, any kind of, you know, artist who draws characters or illustrations and such. And I know these have all been drawn by an artist, yes, but when it comes to these sorts of images they're just all like you can get so many free ones everywhere like everywhere you look and i just think it's such a huge brand it's just for me this coloring book um i'm not going to you know cut out the pages and resell them things like that so i'm quite happy to buy these books i know a lot of people don't buy these books and they can be a little bit touch and go with how pixelated they are and some of these pictures yes they're not um most of them are really good um but some of them you can get uh, quite pixelated like this one here is getting a little bit pixelated but still i would still color this because once it's colored you're not going to be able to tell um but then you have a lot of clear ones like this um and there's just so many cute images and I just really love this book. And I love Sesame Street. I mean, it brings back memories. They are cute. Who would not want to colour in just cuteness? <laughs> so I, I am really on a big cuteness bend at the moment. Um, and, yeah, just loving doing all these pictures without the big backgrounds. Um, just to enjoy colouring. And I'm going to use, and I love that they're all single-sided. I'm going to use my markers in here and then probably go over with my coloured pencils and just have a lot of fun in this book. Um, so, yeah, I probably will be buying a lot more of these books um, that get made on Amazon. And this is the ISB number. I don't know if I showed you already. I can't remember. <laughs> Uh, for that one but if you just look up sesame street coloring book you'll probably find something on amazon very similar and the other one that i got which is the same sort of deal is garfield and as a kid i was never really fond of garfield like the cartoons or the comics or the movies that came out later on i was already an adult by then um, but I love the illustrations and this one, yes, is a little bit pixelated here and there. But again, nothing really bad that I wouldn't colour it. And yeah, just really, really cute um, images in here. Again, they would all be on the free sites for colouring um, for children. Um or if you went on Pinterest, you could get them. But again, I'm just paying for someone to put it all together for me. <laughs> um, because I did think of going onto the internet and finding, you know, looking up Garfield colouring pages and making my own book. And that's a lot of work. And printer ink is extremely expensive. So this is actually works out a lot cheaper. Um, yeah really really cute um just be aware that if you are buying these types of books on amazon um that sometimes they have multiples of them with all different covers but the trick is to look onto the second page if you can to make sure you can see what pictures are in the book because that's where you'll see whether it's the exact same book or not. <laughs> because a lot of people I see get trapped thinking it's a completely different book because the cover's different. 
but what they seem to do is make the exact same book with different covers because people buy books based sometimes just on the cover and I liked this cover whereas there was probably two or three other Garfield books with a different cover but if you have a look at this they were the exact same pictures on the back so I knew it was the exact same book. They will also use different names um, by who it's by. Um, and I don't, and that's probably a copyright thing from Amazon. I don't know if you're actually allowed to make these books. Probably not, you know. <laughs> I would say not. Um, so they will use different names as well. So beware that if you are going to buy them, that they're probably the same book. Different different name of who made it and a different cover, but it's probably the exact same book. So just beware of that. Um, but I don't have a problem um, buying these ones. I wouldn't buy these ones if they were, say, it was... An artist like Hannah Carlson and it had a different cover but all the art in there was Hannah Carlson's no definitely not I would not buy that sort of artwork you know copies of that that's just not on but these sort of books yeah I just do it um if you don't agree with me <laughs> um that's fine you know, you've got your opinion. If you don't like buying these books, that's fine. That's totally up to you. Please don't comment and message me and tell me all about it. You know, you'll have your opinion. I have mine. Let's leave it at that. Um, but a lot of people, you know, like these sorts of books. I love Sesame Street. I love Garfield. And I've actually bought a few more that I will show you when they come. One is... Uh, I think I've bought a Tim Burton colouring book and what was the other one I'm trying to think um, Tim Burton and I can see it in front of me uh, no it's gone <laughs> The Wizard of Oz that was the one so again they are like these sorts of books um and I'll show you them when they come. Hopefully they are good like these ones. So that's my little cute colouring book buy. Just the four books for today. But I do have a whole stack of ones that I've bought on Amazon. And I know I said I was going to have a no buy. But I got all this Christmas and birthday money. And there's nothing else that I need or want. So I thought I'm just going to go and buy all these cute colouring books. <laughs> So anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.